Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, it's your boy, who is Hendo, and we back talking sports. Mm-hmm. Ain't this up, bro. So, breaking news, Russell Westbrook has requested to come off the bench. Per Chris Haynes, you know, this just broke maybe about an hour ago. Um, yeah, this just broke maybe about an hour ago. So this is requested by Russ. He just did what we all had knew. He just, you know what I'm saying, <coughs> the inevitable just came earlier. And it came from somebody who is a real leader, not a vampire in the fucking locker room. Skip Bayless. I thought he was going to be mad coming off the bench. I thought he wasn't going to like that. Dave McMenamin. I thought he was a vampire in the locker room. I thought he, he was the vampire in the locker rooms. I thought he was the problem. I thought he had too much of an ego. They have tried to ruin this nigga, Russell Westbrook. I'm going to tell y'all straight up, bro. I wasn't a Russell Westbrook fan. Not like that. I thought he could ball. Thought he played hard every night. That's the big biggest thing I loved about him. Is that he played hard every night. I just thought he made stupid mistakes on the court sometimes. And I just thought that, you know what I'm saying, yeah, he didn't make the best decisions. That's that's That was my only gripe with Russell. And his jump shot would, could have been better. But other than that, I thought he was a phenomenal player. I never seen the, def the defense of efficiencies that bad I didn't think he was that bad on defense I thought he was okay I thought he was an okay defender with the Clippers he been a really good defender but my thing is this bro Russ is doing the exact thing that they have been saying for years when they was with the uh, the Lakers before he came off the bench for them and embraced that that he wouldn't do you have to manage for ego. Russ, bro, is trying to do what's good for the team, bro. It says Russell Westbrook has requested to come off the bench. Not Ty Lue said they gonna, he going to come off the bench. He told the coach, look, I'll come off the bench. Because Russ know what he can do. He know he can run the offense good. He ain't got to worry about another ball-dominant player. You know what I'm saying? He could come off of the bench. Now, you know the Russell Westbrook haters going to be like, yeah, he should have been come off the bench, blah, 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 this. Shut your dumb asses up. Because Russ, PG, and Kawhi were the best trio in the league before James Harden got there, statistically. Go look it up. All of them had plus. All of them were, they I already did the video. They're a minus 70 since James Harden came there. Ain't no way you finna blame none of that on Russ. Especially he the only one that be trying he the only one that be getting rebounds. At least when Russ has the ball, he not really finna be pat 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 through the through the legs. At least Russ gonna get the ball, attack. He gonna get the ball, attack, either lay the ball up or kick it out. Or he gonna throw it to somebody else, you know what I'm saying, and let them get off. Russ is gonna attack. Dish it out or attack, try to dunk, or he going to try to get a layup. You might miss it, he might make it. You know what I'm saying? He not finna sit there with the ball dribbling between his legs for uh a whole minute. You know what I'm saying? A whole 20, 30, 20 seconds until the clock get three or four seconds. And then, uh, uh. All, this is, all this is doing, bro, is making James Harden look even worse. Look at the comments. <clears throat> Russ is not the problem. No, he is not. My respect for Russ has gone up so much. This is what a team player looks like. That was funny. Harden ruined the team. This is the man y'all hated on. Taking the back seat when you clearly aren't the problem. That's a real teammate. That's a true leader. Amazing team player. This is what leaders do. Love this from him. He's been playing well since he left the Lakers. Come on now, everybody's seeing it. It ain't Russ. It's not his problem. It's not his fault. When Russ wasn't in that game, 
if it was such his fault when Russ wasn't in that game with Denver, what happened? What happened, bro? Since it was just so his fault when they was in clutch time, what did James Harden do when he had to open? He missed that layup, right? Oh, he, he you know, he just missed it. He said he not even in shape. You never got to worry about that with Russ. Russ always in shape. When have you seen Russ out of shape? Russ is 34, 35 right now. Still could jump out the gym. Still could jump out the gym. And he fit with PG and uh, Kawhi so good. Point guard. Getting them off. Getting getting them this. You know what I'm saying? Kawhi, Kawhi's shots then went down. PG been playing awful besides that uh, Denver game. He was shooting terrible. This is the worst trade. This is the worst trade in history. Honestly. Maybe this might change, bro. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? This this might change, bro. Now it's just gonna be James Harden with the ball. You know what I'm saying? I still think that ain't that's not gonna do nothing. It's still gonna be bad. And watch what I say. When Westbrook come off the bench with the second unit, watch it be so much energy and watch they outplay the, the uh starters. Watch what I say. This first game, watch that y'all play the starters. Watch what I say. Shout out to Westbrook, bro. Shout out to Brody. For being a real leader and sacrificing for the team. Like he's done before. But these media pundits and stupid ass uh, beat writers want to act like it was all on him with the Lakers. And act like... You know what I'm saying? He's just such a bad uh, teammate. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. He the only leader in that locker room. If you want me to be real, Kawhi don't say shit. James Harden is the furthest thing from a leader. Paul George, eh. I mean, maybe at times. But he, he just wanted to play ball for real. Russ is the real alpha in out of them four. Like, like James Harden is a hoe. That's what he is. He a hoe. He a quitter. He going to run out on you. You feel me? He going to run out on you when it get tough. You know what I'm saying? He going to for sure run out on you when it get tough. You know? James Harden is not. I keep telling y'all. James Harden is who the media tried to make Kyrie Irving out to be. Russell Westbrook out to be. This is hilarious, bro. It's just so funny because this makes James Harden look worse. That's all it does is make James Harden look worse. Because James Harden should have did this. His ass should have came off the bench. <clears throat> Even in that loss versus the Lakers, they did not look bad. What happened was they started turning the ball over and coughed up that lead. But they were up 19 at one point. Now they getting blown off at the at the start of the gate, bro. They played good in that Denver game, but what happened? They choked. And honestly, James Harden didn't have nothing to do with that comeback at the end. PG and um Kawhi did. He didn't do shit. But you chose to put Russ on the bench. But now Russ is requesting to come off the bench. Because he going to go crazy with that second unit. Watch. So y'all just watch what happened. Y'all know I want him to go. I want him to get traded. I want them to send him somewhere else. Because the Clippers organization is cursed. And they just fuck. They retard. I can't say that. <clears throat> they mentally disabled, bro. They mentally disabled. That's how they, that's how they run their organization. Bro. Like they never ran an organization before. Steve Ballmer, I hope he was not the one to sign off on this, bro. Or the one that came up with this idea. Because this is the dumbest trade in history. And it's not going. he's not going to play better just because... Listen, James Harden is not it for this squad. They squad was good. Now we see with James Harden, Paul George, and um, Kawhi did in that last five minutes versus Denver. Come on now. James Harden didn't do nothing. It was PG and Kawhi. 
But shout out to Westbrook, man, for coming off the bench, for sacrificing for the team, doing everything, doing the thing that all these writers and media said that you would never do, that you would have a problem with doing, even though you did it already before, just a year or two ago with the Lakers, and now you're doing it again, and it will make it so will make it so fire is that it's by his request. The coach didn't request it. Westbrook said, you know what, I'll come off the bench. This is not going to work. I'll come off the bench. That's a leader. Not no James Fraud and pussy. <laughs>